second degree line so you draw curve here not not this the, not the first degree this is the first degree this is the inclined line so the rule of the for the moment is the order of line from the uniform load which is zero degree and the next is the shear is the first degree line the inclined line and for the moment is the second degree line first degree is inclined and the second degree is curved so don't forget that you might draw a line here like this now this is the second degree now so it's curved second degree curved line so from A to your point you locate this and you draw the curve like this All right. And for the zero moment again you draw going down All right. and become zero right there. Okay now solving for moment number three. Moment number three is the area of the area three from the shear. The area of the shear is positive four six four. So moment three right here is area three is equal to positive point four six four and then locate that again from the vertical line and you have to proportion your when you locate the points see if this is four point four six four and this is point four six four so they have the same height all right so located right there and from C where you left off zero moment you draw a second degree line to moment three that is the curve again all right now you got it there moment number three is point positive point four six four now moment number four moment number four is moment number four here okay is the moment three there minus this you, you sum up this together okay and this is positive, this is negative. And moment four is the same value. So therefore point point four six four minus area four. This is the moment number four. Again same, but it is negative, so therefore the moment here minus this is equal to zero moment E is equal to zero which is the moment four right here the calculation right here zero and now from um, moment number three you draw uh, you draw line for a moment there second degree line to the curve not the inclined line again the curve second degree line up to the zero point right there E and now let's go solve for moment number five moment number five is moment number five is the area five right here okay so what's the area there number five so point four six four again and locate that to the line it's the same height so it goes right here from e you draw a line curve line second degree line to number five now moment at G which is moment number six moment number six you always look on the shear all right what is this here this here is the submission of these two considering the sign you have to add this considering the sign so this is positive plus the negative moment which is the same so moment at six it's area 5 minus area 6 we have the same values there therefore this is positive this is 5 and minus the negative uh, moment at G therefore is the end of the line so equal to 0 so therefore when this is equal to 0 right here at the end from the beginning at A therefore this is an uh, insurance assurance that all the moments right there are correct all right so we have all the moments right and the shares now choose the largest moment of all 
from the moment diagram and the largest shear from the shear diagram. Here I can see that the largest, here you have the same moment which is 4.64 kilonewton. Therefore, here, right here. And then you write, therefore the maximum moment due to the shear moment diagram is point, positive point 0.464 and the maximum shear due to the shear diagram from the shear moment diagram is positive 1.545. So we have all the design. This is now your design moment to be used in the design of the problem. I might have uh, I'm running out of time and then I'll continue this design on the next video. I have to stop right here. Uh, we have we have this uh, maximum moment and maximum shear to be used in the design of the problem. Alright. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. This is the design and uh, the sizes of the problem. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.